Hello, this is a good... Hello, this is another quick video just because I'm excited to show you that I can actually take sharp videos now. If you, uh, if I try and come a bit closer, hopefully I'm still in focus. Woo I just got my new vlogging camera. Um, I'll do a cutaway in a minute to show you what it looks like, but it's going to make a huge difference um, in both me being able to be excited in terms of creativity, but also in terms of providing image uh, video footage which is sharp and hopefully um, better clarity and things like that. So, yeah, new cameras arrived and uh, <coughs> really happy to get started. I'll do a full review of the um, Lumix G H5 um, camera once I've had a chance to kind of do some b-roll footage and take it out for a spin but um, yeah after my last video was so blurry I just needed to uh, redeem myself and uh, shoot something which is actually in focus so hopefully it is checking. Size comparison Lumix G H5 to Leica M6 Leica CL versus Lumix GH5 E 4K action camera like a GoPro versus the GH5 Right, this is how to mount M42 lenses onto a Micro Four Thirds camera using the M42 to M4 Micro Four Thirds adapter Once you have this adapter you can mount lots of lenses you can buy cheap on eBay so it's a good idea, it's a great way to use lots of cheaper lenses and um, have a bit of fun experimenting with different focal lenses, different speeds. So this is a 50mm f1.8 rolling lens by the adapter. Okay, this is the Lumix 12-32mm f3.5 to 5.6 pancake lens. It comes with a kit lens on some, some Lumix cameras, but I bought it separately. I wanted a super lightweight, um, small as possible lens for vlogging with autofocus and image stabilization. Okay, to mount Leica lenses, you need the Leica M mount to Micro Four Thirds adapter. This is my Voigtlander 35 1.2 for the Leica lenses, Leica cameras. Okay, this is the Nikon point at the Lumix. Now the Lumix screen showing me recording this video from the Nikon D800. Um, I'll do a quick spin round of the Lumix GH5 camera just to show you um, how it looks and some of the features on the back. It's got lots of custom preset buttons which I think are going to be really helpful and it's quite um, a simple camera to use. I didn't read the menu, I just jumped straight in and worked it out quite quickly. Um, again, this is the pancake lens that I bought for the camera separately. But it's uh, one of the smallest lenses you can get for the Lumix GH5 camera. And um, with the flip out screen, it's going to be really good for vlogging because I'm going to be able to see myself while holding the camera pointing at myself. Um, and yes, this is showing the screen's full range of motion. Okay, just for a bit of fun, um, this is a Leica Noctilux 50 f1 lens. Um, and in comparison, this is the pancake lens I bought. So the pancake lens is very light and very small. The Lumix lens, the Noctilux is very heavy for its size and um, a lot bigger. I thought I'd do an RT shot. And obviously this is the box if you buy the body only, as I did. This, so this is the Lumix GH5 box with body only um, bundle if, it, if you want. You can buy it with kit lenses, but not the lens that I'm using. I was testing autofocus into a mirror. Okay, this is testing the autofocus of the kit lens by touching the screen 
on the Lumix GH5 while pointing at a subject. So what I'm doing is touching, say, the camera on the screen and it'll focus on the camera. And then if I touch where my fingers are behind the camera, it'll t move the focus to behind the camera. Okay, some quick B-roll. I managed to take the camera out one morning when I was running, just to show you um, how the footage looks. This is all unedited and I've straight out of camera. Use the three chins. <laughs> Not a good angle to video yourself. Okay, this was to test how much I could see in the screen using the 12 mil part of the 12 to 32 mil lens. Uh, it's going to be wide enough for vlogging, so it's perfect for what I had in mind. And when I'm not doing digital photography or editing videos, this is what I do. This is um, home developed 35 um, color 120 film from Hasselblad, and this is some 35 mil film hanging to dry. Again, I'm just testing the 12 to 32 autofocus. I did a photo shoot with Harriet yesterday and I shot both video and photos and behind the scenes so you have this to look forward to.